Hey guys, it's Lee here, so I hope you're doing great today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Grin using a GPU. So this is a GPU miner, it's for Linux-based operating systems such as Ubuntu, and it's for NVIDIA graphics cards, but also is a quite a high requirement. You also need a graphics card with at least 7 gigabytes of uh, onboard uh, memory, GPU memory. So you're going to need at least a 1070, 1070 Ti or GTX 1080, uh, 1080 Ti. Um, so I've actually had to uh, wreck one of my gaming machines. So this machine over here is normally like my personal PC. I had to take my graphics card out of it, a GTX 1080, so I could show you this demonstration. So I just want to kind of show you what's going on behind the scenes. It's a real mess. I've had to kind of redo everything uh, in the room to get everything kind of set up and bring you this uh, demonstration. Um, but I'm just waiting for the uh, Ubuntu installation to um, update. Once that's completed, I'll jump over to the screen capture and I'll take you through the rest of the process, which will be installing the miner and getting up and running GPU mining with Grin. Okay, so let's continue with the demonstration of the Grin GPU miner. So just before we get started, there's a few requirements. Uh, you're going to need a NVIDIA graphics card that has at least 7 gigabytes of memory. So that's effectively a GTX 1070 or higher. So that's as it is at the moment, it maybe that will change in the future. So on screen you'll see I've got a text file. I'll put a link to the text file in the video description. And then we need to open up a terminal. So it's Control Alt and T to open up a new terminal window. So there's a couple of extra requirements to get started. So for the end or the um, the setup, sorry. You're going to need the latest NVIDIA drivers, so it's the 410 drivers, and you're also going to need to have CUDA 10 installed. Now, both of those things, the CUDA 10 installation was something that I had uh, an awful lot of problems with. So for anyone that has those uh, problems, or if you've got like an old version of CUDA, um, all of this part on this right-hand side here, this will help you get set up with the correct driver installation and also the correct um, CUDA installation. So what you need to have, you're going to use these two commands here. So this will confirm what driver you're using. So you can see here that I've got the driver version, which is this 4.10.79. It also reports the CUDA version, but that's not actually the CUDA version that you're using. That's just um, what the capabilities of the card is. So the next command that you want to use is this NVCC. And that confirms the CUDA version. So just going to copy and paste that across. And that's not what we're supposed to get. So let me just check something. So I think my um, CUDA uh, path keeps on getting messed up. So I'm just going to paste this line in there. Um, if I run this again, and hopefully it should work this time. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, if you have that same problem, then you can use all of the uh, use all that code above. But then that's just to set the path. I'm not too sure exactly how to set the path um, correctly, but that works as a temporary fix. Uh, but what you're looking for is CUDA version 10. If you use 9, it won't it won't build properly. Okay, so that's the drivers and the CUDA version basically set up and installed. So now we can proceed with the minor installation. So I've gone through this um, already, but hopefully we can just kind of go back through it again and um, get up and running. So first we need to make the directory. So that's already done. So then we're going to go into that directory itself. And then we just need to update. So that's the update done. So the next part is to install all of these uh, programs and dependencies. So I've already done that, so that's gone through really quick. The next part is to install Rust. So that's what the miner is built with. So we want to option one to proceed. And then the next line. That is the Rust installation done. So now we want to download the miner from the GitHub repo. So we've already got that. And then we're just going to go into that folder. And then there is a module update. So that might update or not, depend on 
on the age of the build. So then the next line is to customize this um, build. So this is slightly different. There is so this is for the CUDA plugin. There is also like a um, an AVX C, uh, CPU plugin as well, which I would have showed you in the previous video. Um, I'm not too sure if you can use both at the same time. I'm yet to confirm that. But anyway, the next one is going to be building our miner. So uh, previously I've actually already done that and so it takes about five minutes to complete. Um, I think this time it hasn't completed because um, I've already gone through that process. So then the next part is to set the port address. And then you want to set a username. So you want to choose a unique uh, username so we copy and paste that code and it lasts us for a username. So I mine blocks uh, GPU we'll go with. And then we need to set a unique password. So your username and password, keep them completely unique. You don't want to use them on any other surfaces. Um, so that is services. So enter that line and then we're going to use a unique password. and enter. So this next line starts the miner itself, but it will be like a background process. And now if you use this line, it's like a miner dashboard, so we can see a little bit of information about the miner and the performance, etc. Just minimize the notepad now and the mining window, I'll just stretch it across so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so you can see here, so at the connection status, we've connected to the MW Grin pool and the pool, and you've got mining status. So you can see the current block height and you can see this GPS, which is graphs per second. That is the current uh, basically hash rate and that's gonna start picking up. So then further down, you've got accepted shares that you want to, that's what you want to be looking for. You don't want any rejected or stale shares really. And then further down, you can see the plugin that is currently running. So I'm not too sure if you can run the CPU and GPU miner at the same time. That's something I've got to test separately, but you can see that we're using the CUDA plugin. So it's device zero. So it's the first, I've only got one device in this particular machine. And then we've got the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti, which is the GPU that we're obviously using. And then we've got the graph time and also we've got a, I think this is an average, I'm not too sure how the average has worked out, but it's 4.2. Um, in a previous test, I think it was up to around about 4.5 um, graphs per second. So that's the current performance um, of this GPU. Um, I'm not using um, any overclocking or any changes or anything like that. It's all just completely standard stock clocks. So I know a lot of you guys always ask me about the, um, the power consumption. So this machine at idle uses around about 70 watts. And with the GPU miner mining on this algorithm, the machine uses about 305 watts. So, um, so for the GPU on its own, it's probably using about 250, 255 watts just based on the GPU alone. So that's just um, uh, a bit of information for the, uh, the performance and the power consumption of this device. Okay, so that's it for another video. I sincerely hope you've uh, liked watching this video and you get up and running with the Grin Miner yourself. Any questions or comments or you get stuck, let me know in the comments area and I'll try to help you guys out as best you can. If you did like this video, please give it a like. I really do appreciate it. If you like this type of content, please consider subscribing. It would be great to have you as part of our community. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.